My name is Glenn Pang. I've been shaping for TNC Surf for 40 plus years. Concaves, they actually give the board more lift, which actually helps you generate speed, especially in smaller waves. You kind of want more concave to give you more lift and more speed in the smaller surf. And when you go to bigger waves, you kind of mellow out the concaves to be more, give you more control in the bigger waves. A lot of the uh, high performance um, short boards, everyone's been going a lot deeper in the singles to give you more speed because you need speed to do your maneuvers. So speed is like one of the most important factors as far as attributes of a short board. Anytime you add more single, you need to add, usually I add more double, a deeper double. Because the single would create, help you create speed, but then if you're going too fast, you can't break it. So the double actually helps break the board, gets it to go rail to rail. If it's just a deep single, you kinda, the boards kind of get a little bit sticky. The little double will kind of loosen it up, help it roll a little bit easier. And same with the V. If you have a little V off the tail, it actually will sink and help you roll off the, off the top of the wave. Every board's different as far as how deep the doubles are, how deep the singles are, how, how far up the, the double would run in the single, how much V you have, have off the tail. Usually more tail rocker, it makes the board looser, but then it slows the board down too. So anytime you add more curve, you're getting a slower board because the water needs to flow from here to here is a longer path. Whereas like on a flatter board, the um, water from the nose to tail is a shorter path. So it's a faster when you're paddling, but it can change too when you do concave. So that's another factor too. When you're putting a single concave, now the water is going through a lot quicker because you're cutting this line from here to here straighter. Whereas like if it didn't have any concave, the water needs to flow all the way from here to here. Now you put adding a single concave, now the water is flowing through quicker from here to here. This model is the CMG, or we call it the Flux. It's pretty much our all around everyday short board. Yeah, so as far as the single on here, it's not that deep. It's pretty, I would say average as far as the um, depth of the concave. So it's actually not giving you too much lift um, on the wave, which makes the board more controllable and not too lifty. Model is the CSU. It is a step up board based off of the flux. Pretty much everything else is, would be pretty close to what a, a flux, the CMG would be. It's just like a little bit um, more tuned for a bigger wave. This is pretty similar as far as bottom contour as what the flux would have. Just more put in in the outline and a touch more rocker. And the fins are a little further back. Right here we have our MDL, our mid-length board. Um, pretty deep single on this one too, to help um, in the smaller waves generate some speed. Uh, low rocker up forward, which helps the board get in super easy. Small waves, you can ride in small waves and um, pretty decent sized waves too. Anywhere from waist high to three, four foot overhead, depending on the surfer. One of our step up models, it is called the S4VF model. The main purpose of this board is just to get in a lot quicker. So it's made for more of a, a hollow barrel, more barrel type of wave. So you just get in quicker. Um, you're not really doing too many turns. You just set your line and get in early, set your line and get barrel. A Little bit more mellow on the concave because you wanna be uh, more in the wave instead of more on top of the wave. So the, the Flux and the CSU have more concave than what the S4V, S4VFs have um, to just be in more control, more in the wave. This is our TM1. It is a high performance shortboard um, made for small to average size waves. Single to a double, pretty 
um, decent amount of double going through the board. Has a little bit of V going off the tail. Um, it's a little flatter off the tail with a little bit more nose rocker. So if you look, there's like a little, the deepest part of the double, I mean the singles, right in front of the fins, which actually helps generate a lot of speed. And it has like a later flip off the tail, which actually makes it a little bit more flicky on the turn. So it's a good smaller wave um, board, but you can still ride it in like a decent size wave too. Concaves, they actually give the board more lift, which actually helps you generate speed, especially in smaller waves. You kind of want more concave to give you more lift because the single would create, help you create speed. But then if you're going too fast, you can't break it. So the double actually helps break the board, gets it to go rail to rail. And same with the V. If you have a little V off the tail, it actually will sink and help you roll off the, off the top of the wave. So anytime you add more curve, you're getting a slower board because the water needs to flow a longer path. Putting a single concave, now the water is going through a lot quicker. Yeah, so as far as the single on here, it's not that deep, which makes the board more controllable and not too lifty. A step up board based off of the flux, more tuned for a bigger wave, more put in the outline, and a touch more rocker. Pretty deep single, low rocker up forward, which helps the board get in super easy. One of our step up models, the main purpose of this board is to get in early, set your line, and get barrel. A little bit more mellow on the concave because you want to be more in the wave instead of more on top of the wave to just be in more control. High performance short board, single to a double, pretty decent amount of double going through the board. Has a little bit of V going off the tail. The deepest part of the single right in front of the fins, which actually helps generate a lot of speed.